Hi, my name is Chris Richter and welcome to Moodle at Ricochet. We are going to look at a plugin called the Generico Filter. And in particular, we're going to look at how to add an iframe to our Moodle course using the Generico Filter. The reason for using this is we could just add an iframe in our content using HTML, but using the Generico Filter allows us to add an iframe without having to add any HTML content to the page at all. This will make things simpler for people who are developing content for you. They can just add some normal text and in the background that will be converted to an iframe. So let's have a look. The Generico filter can be found at moodle.org. Plugins filter Generico. Make sure you get the right version that suits your version of Moodle. We're using Moodle 3.6 for this example. All we need to do is download the Generico filter, go to our Moodle administration, plugins, install plugins and go through the normal process of adding a plugin to your Moodle server. Drag the zip file in, install plugin and continue, continue, continue through the process, update database and you're ready to use the plugin. Let's have a look at what the plugin looks like. Select site administration, type in Generico and choose templates. You'll see that Generico has a collection of templates already created that we've put in there. We're going to look at the iframe page template that we created. You can see this template. We've named it as iframe. The key that identifies the template is just the word iframe page. Template name, iframe page. I've put in a version number one. This little bit of information here is how someone actually uses the Generico iframe page template. Below this, we have some information here. This is the body of the template. All of this you don't need to worry too much about at the moment. The important part is the instructions on how to use it. We have Generico type equals iframe page slash Generico type frame end. I'll grab that information. If we now go to a course, let's go to our test course two, turn editing on, create a test iframe page. We'll just call it test iframe page. So it's really obvious now, instead of using any code, we just paste in the generico information. In here, we type in https colon slash slash ricochet.com.au. So that's the website that we'd like this iframe to include. Notice I haven't gone into the drop down HTML editing. It's just complete normal HTML or it's normal text. Let's save and display. And you can see now we have an iframe or a test iframe page with the Ricochet website embedded inside it as an iframe. Notice the height is not really quite practical. What we can do is edit that from the plugin. And we can set a default height that all iframes, when they're included in a page, will be, and it can be changed globally. So let's go back to our Generico plugin. Down here, notice we've got width equals 100% in the body template of our Generico template. We can set here height equals, uh, let's say, 500. There's our height. Let's just go down and save changes. Anywhere that this particular template is used on any page in any course, uh, we'll now be able to see how that change is applied to every one of those iframe templates. And here we go. You can now see that the height is set at 600, which makes obviously the iframe a lot more practical to use. So that is how you use the Generico template to add an iframe. One extra bonus here that you'll find very useful is that I will export the iframe bundle for you just by clicking on bundle. And you can see down here, I've just downloaded iframe text. I will upload that for you so that you can automatically import the code for this template back into the Generico plugin. To do that, we just go to Generico. This will save you putting in all the code and details and everything for the Generico plugin uh, for this particular template. 
in the Generico plugin. If we go to templates, our Generico template, choose a new one. All you need to do is grab that iframe text file. We've got that iframe text file now, and we drop that on bundle. It will automatically fill in all the details ready for you to use the plugin. So all you need to do is save it and you can start using the iframe code and template inside your courses. I hope that's been useful. I'm Chris Richter from Moodle at Ricochet. Please feel free to make any comments. Uh, let me know what else you'd like information about or what you need help with in Moodle. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. If you uh, would like to know about some more of the top 10 admin tasks that a Moodle administrator should know about, click on the link below this video. I'll take you through how to clear a cache, how to run cron, how to set tasks, turning on debugging, reading log files, edit the config, run automated backups, check performance overview, check security reports, and how to use the ad hoc database queries. I hope this has been helpful. Please feel free to check out more videos on how to make the most out of the Moodle learning management system.